but now it's mostly used async await like uh, any function that is going to handle some expensive computation then definitely you have control have to wait for long time so we use async await uh, yeah call back and the promises promises are also mostly using like if you are uh, going to handle with a call back any function that you are calling and when it is finished then you have to call the next function on the finishing of the first one and if you go for the promises you have to create a promise then you have to fulfill it and through that you can handle if it is fulfilled you can give uh, some information what you want to return or you can call some other function or you can handle if it is your promise is not fulfilled then you can give error message and if you go for async await so definitely when the function is async any function inside any computation you got to do it like uh, reading from database or uh, uh, doing some uh, you know reading from apis then definitely you will do it and after that you can but you have to put or wrap this thing in a try and catch block so exception handling can also be done